Hi Sheiksters, hope your day is going well. Today's video is going to be all about capsule wardrobes. Specifically, I'm gonna be talking about how to create the perfect work from home capsule wardrobe. I'm gonna be spilling the tea on all the essentials you need to create this. And being that we are in week, what is this, four, five, six of social distancing, many of us are currently working from home and are trying to figure out ways to still feel like ourselves, still feel put together. That initial sort of like joy slash novelty of I can wear pajamas all day, I'm pretty sure has worn off one if you have cycled through your weekend clothes four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen 10, 15 times and you were over it. This video is for you. Two, this video is for you, of course, if you are working from home. And three, this video is for you if you're looking for tips and tricks as to how to make your loungewear home wardrobe a little bit more put together. If this is your first time here. Hi, my name is Chi Chi and we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle on this channel. So if this sounds like something that you're into or you're interested in, then keep on watching. So let's dive right in. The first item I think, you, uh, the first item you need for your work from home slash loungewear capsule wardrobe is going to be the jumpsuit. And I know you're thinking jumpsuit. I know, I know. Here's why, right? Jumpsuits are perfect for days where you just cannot figure out what you want to wear. You're not in the headspace to put together outfits, but you want to look put together. It's a one and done and you're out the door. Two, they're perfect for working from home because most of them tend to come with collars built in. So if you have to get on a Zoom meeting or if you have to take a Google Meets call or something of, of that nature, it still looks professional enough for the environment. But the best part about it is that it's comfortable. 99.9% .9 of all the jumpsuits I've seen are cut with a little bit of room or cut for comfort. So if you're looking for, so if you're having those days where you just don't know what to wear, trust me, you need a jumpsuit. Now this one that I have on, I picked up last year from Target. It's old, sadly, but I will definitely link some great options for you down below. This one is made out of like a faux linen type fabric. It has a little bit of stretch to it. It has that collar that we're looking for. It has the little tie on the waist. So it looks put together. You know, it does have some shape, but it's again, super comfortable. And you know, I wore this, I wore this so many times last year, like I need another one. <laughs> so definitely add a jumpsuit to your list if you haven't already. The second thing that you're going to need is going to be a neutral blazer. Now this is something that you can literally look in your closet for, at least for most of us. And um, the reason why you need a neutral blazer is because it's perfect for when you just have to get on a quick call, right? You know, maybe you were just cooking and you got tomato sauce on your shirt, or you know, if you have like little ones, you know, throw up, spit, all kinds of things get on you. Um, you have that ratty tank top that you wear to bed, or just, comfy clothes and you need to look put together real quick. A blazer will do that for you instantly. You know, you can just throw it on, sit down for your call and no one will be any wiser as to what's going on underneath that blazer. You will look professional. You can talk to your clients. You can talk to your boss. And yeah, I love a neutral blazer just because it goes with everything. So I have on a tan blazer here and you guys can see I have it on with a tank top and some sweatpants, right? But ain't nobody gonna know. Nobody will know, right? Anyway, I have on a lighter colored blazer just cause we're going to spring and I tend to like go for lighter colored pieces as we go into to spring and summer, but a black blazer will do, a camel blazer will do, a navy blazer will do, a gray pinstripe blazer will do, just a nice neutral blazer that will go with whatever choice of sweats you decide to pair the look with. The next item you definitely need for your work from home wardrobe is a shirt dress. Oh my God. Oh my God. I swear 
A shirt dress is basically like wearing pajamas. And what I like about a shirt dress, just like the jumpsuit, is that it does have a collar on it. Again, if you have to sit down for a call or jump on a Zoom meeting, you look super put together. But depending on the styles you get, some shirt dresses are a little bit more tailored, other shirt dresses are a little bit more loose. Depending on the style you get, it's super easy, super free. And it's also super versatile. Uh, versatile. I'm actually gonna do a video on IGTV where I show you like all the ways you can wear a shirt dress. You can wear it open, closed, belted, loose, whatever, tucked into a pair of jeans, whatever way you wanna wear it. So I think it's a cl closet must have. Forget about work from home. But I also think um, it's just, you just get your cost per wear, especially if you go for one that's in a solid color, like this white one. I picked up this white shirt dress two years ago. I've worn this white shirt dress in so many different ways. I've worn it to the beach as cover up, like I said. You know, you can tuck it into things. You can wear it open with leggings. You can wear it like a shirt dress itself. You can do a lot with it. And I highly recommend picking up a shirt dress. ASOS makes this dress every single year. I think I got mine two years ago and I think I had one before I got this one. So they always come back in stock. So I'm gonna put a link to the options that they have down below. But honestly, must have, must have. Forget about the work from home. Just if you don't have a good shirt dress in your closet and you can, this one is about knee length, but I've seen ones that are longer, like kind of like maxi length. You know, if that's your float your boat, you can these come in a plethora of silhouettes and styles to suit your body. So again, I will link some options for you down below. Next item in the capsule wardrobe is going to be a pair of joggers or cargo pants, or basically soft pants. Any pants that are kind of like loose, um, and just easy to wear would fall into this category. So if you prefer joggers, you can wear a jogger. I mean, the main really real difference between a jogger to me and like a cargo pant is that joggers have that elasticated band around the leg and cargo pants tend to not. I think even some of them I've seen do. So any like sort of like loose, easy to wear pant, um, an easy way to spot them is that they typically have drawstrings, which is perfect. You know, you can loosen them or tighten them to suit you. You know, if you had a big lunch, you know, you can loosen them up. If you want to take a nap, you can loosen them up. They're easy. They're not constricting. And they come in so many different fabric types. So the more woven and structured the fabric, the more, you know, put together it will look. But you can, like you said, this pair that I have on here is just a typical, made out of typical jersey um, fabric. Now, if you want it to look a little bit more elevated and uh, look more put together, then stay away from any of them that have any printing, any logos, just anything that's super distracting. You want to go with something that's a solid neutral color because that will allow you to dress it up and dress it down to suit the occasion. I have from American Eagle, it's like made out of like a terry cloth fabric and it feels like the softest, it's just so soft and super comfortable. I also picked up their, I think it's called their Sun Washed, don't quote me on it, jogger, it comes in a plethora of colors. I got it in a 2XL but I, really should have gotten an extra large, so bear that in mind if you're interested. It comes in so many colors, gray, two different colors of beige, I think it comes in black, and I think it may come in one more color as well. So again, these pieces, pieces like this, will allow you to feel comfortable, but still look a little bit more put together. They also have a different style in like a denim, so a soft, denim would also work as well. I will link a bunch of different soft pant, jogger, cargo, hybrid <laughs> pants all for you in the description box below if you're interested in this um, category. The next thing of course you need for working from home is a cozy, comfy cardigan. Everybody's home right now, so you already know how it is. Um, dad might prefer it hot, mom might prefer it cold, mom might prefer it hot, dad might prefer it cold. Um, the kids might prefer it a different way. You might be trying to save money on your gas bill. Hey, um, whatever you, whatever it is, um, 
a comfy cardigan would be perfect, especially since we're transitioning. It also helps you to look a little bit more put together. For example, if you have to get on a call um, with a client or a Zoom meeting, you can throw that cardigan above so your, you know, your shoulders, your decolletage isn't bare because the last thing you want to do, especially when you're in calls like this, literally it's a portraiture. So people are seeing your shoulders, your chest, um, and you may not want people to be zooming into that. Like, <laughs> you know, this is a professional environment. So having a cardigan or something like that that you can throw on just adds another element to your look and helps it to look a little bit more polished and put together. So this next item I'm gonna talk about is gonna be like a duh. I'm not wearing sweatpants or joggers. Joggers, that's the more, that's the more elevated way, you know, to say it. Um, I'm wearing leggings. I'm wearing leggings right now. And you need, a couple of pairs of good quality leggings. Personally believe after wearing $5 leggings and $40 and $50 leggings, I believe that it's some, I believe it's something worth investing in just because when I used to buy the $5 leggings, um, after a couple of months, they would get holes in between the thighs, you know, uh, you may not have this problem, but if you have some, if you have thighs like me, um, and then you know that when your legs keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing after a while, the, the fabric starts to unravel, the seams start to unravel. But I find that when I splurge a little bit more, one, I can, you know, I get a better fit. Um, you know, I'm not worried about my leggings see being see-through, people seeing my underwear, people seeing all my lumps and bumps, you know, spending a little bit more. Those those um leggings tend to be made out of fabrics that are smoothing, that are thick enough, okay? They're thick enough. Um, and then they last longer. And then they have other cool benefits like moisture wicking if you're gonna work out in them. Some of them have the little pockets for your phone. Next thing I wanna talk to you guys about are crew neck tees and tanks. I mean, this to me is, a, it's not only great for your capsule wardrobe, but it's great for your wardrobe in general. Investing in some crew, um, some great tanks and tees are a must have. I've, again, just like the leggings, I've noticed that when I've spent a little bit more on this, in this category, that it's lasted me longer. Um, and I, I, I was a diehard fan of like the Forever 21 V-neck, um, V-neck t-shirts and they didn't last. Like after a couple of months after like, I don't know, maybe the deodorant I used to use was super harsh, but they would get that armpit stain that never washed out. And for these basics, you definitely want to think about brands that, you know, really focus on quality, like J. Crew, Madewell, even like Everlane, if you're, if you can fit. You know, I really, I, I really would love to try Everlane. I, I wish they would extend their sizes. I'm Everlane. If you're watching this, please, please do. You know, plus girls care about s sustainability too. <laughs> um, so you want to start thinking of those more higher end brands and investing because a lot of these places are having sales right now. So investing in those t-shirts and crew necks and tank tops would be great. T-shirt dresses. Let's talk about t-shirt dresses. I love a good t-shirt dress. Just the same way I love a good shirt dress. I think t-shirt dress is um, is like the more casual um, cousin to the shirt dress. It has the same sort of like benefits. It's super easy. It's one and done. You throw it on. You know, you can throw on a jacket if you have to run an errand real quick. Sneakers, you're out the door. Even if you're even if you are sitting down for a meeting, it just looks like a t-shirt. Um, you can go for one with like a stripe to add a little bit of interest. You can go for some solid colors. If you go with more neutrals, you're gonna get way more out of it. You can layer on different things to give off different vibes. You can lay on a biker jacket. If you wanna give off that jacket, you can layer on an anorak. If you wanna give off that jacket, you can layer on a blazer. Have on your t-shirt dress, layer on a blazer, and sit down and you will look super put together. I suggest if we're going on the work from home side of things to go for one with more of a crew neck. Like I said earlier, you want to opt for, you know, crew necks over v-necks just because you want it to be able to go from casual to more formal and vice versa. Um, if you go for something with a little bit more of a v-neck, you know, for especially if you're endowed in the bosom region, 
that might be a little bit distracting. A crew neck. This dress that I just recently picked up for under $20 from um, H&M. I have a few options from Old Navy. So a, a lot of different brands make them and they're just really great and easy to wear. So these are the essential pieces I think you definitely need in a work from home slash loungewear capsule wardrobe. But I have one more bonus item for you and that is the biker short. We're going into spring summer right now and so a great alternative to a legging is definitely the biker. I've been seeing all the IG babes rock their graphic tees and their biker shorts and it's just as comfortable as a legging if not more comfortable as we go into these warmer months. I've seen so many fun colors, prints, just basic black you know, you can wear it at home to run errands. You can also wear it to work out at the gym. So it's also a great travel outfit. Obviously, depending on where you work, what you do, your personal style, this list could be so much longer so it's not exhaustive. I would love for you to share any additional items you think that should be on this list down below. Also, you can click open the description box. I will also have a link for you to sign up for my newsletter. When you do, you get a spring, summer, and fall, winter wardrobes checklist. Um, Definitely check the description bo box down for sizing information, my measurements, links to everything I've mentioned in this video and all of that good stuff. If you want to chat with me when I'm not here on YouTube, I'm also on Instagram on TikTok. Yeah, I got on. Don't judge me. <laughs> if you're on, I will put a link to it down below. If you're looking to level up improve and upgrade your style in 2020, all you have to do is subscribe now. If you're looking for more styling tips and tricks, check out this video. And if you wanna know what I've been buying lately, you can also check out this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, stay blessed.